So these are some metric measurements that you're going to need to use. Table C and table D might be important. Notice that in our um, metric system, we have a base unit, things like grams, liters, meters, joules, pascals, etc. And we can add prefixes on the front of them to help adjust, so make them larger or smaller by groups of 10. I've highlighted the three that you're really going to need to know, and those are on table C. Um, but this sheet allows you to do more. And so you can just kind of like move from one to, an, to the next. Um, so, you know, counting this way or counting backwards. So let's see how this goes. And we can keep sliding up to the top to see that. So you should be using that at the top. So milliliters to deciliters. So here's 35 milliliters. Okay, now this cheat shows you the factor label method, which we absolutely could do. Uh, but for these, it's just kind of easier. So look at the top. We're going to go from milli to deci. So that means move your decimal place two spots to the left. So where's my decimal place? It's here. One, two. So 0.35 is our answer. It's easy doing it this way, and you've got this chart. All right, the next one is 950 grams to kilograms. So here's gram, it's base. We need to go to kilograms. We're going to move our decimal place one, two, three. So 950, move my decimal place three spots, one, two, three, 0.95. Why didn't I write 0 0.950? Oh, this has two sig figs. I should also have two sig figs. Millimeters to centimeters, let's get rid of that. Millimeters to centimeters, so millimeters to centimeters is one spot to the left. So that would be 27.5, okay. Um, number four is a thou is a thousand liters to kiloliters. So liters to kiloliters. So liters is a base one, two, three spots to the left. So that would be one kiloliter. Don't include those zeros because those are not significant. Now we have milliliters to liters. Milli is here, one, two, three spots to the left. So that's going to be one liter. Okay, now we have milligrams to grams. Hey, look, milli goes to grams. Because milliliters to liters is the same as milligrams to grams, we just have different actual units. So we move it three spots to the left, I get 4.5. Oops. Then we have centimeters to millimeters. Centimeters to millimeters is one spot to the right. So we have 250 millimeters, good. Kilograms to decagrams, kilograms to decagrams. So one, two spots to the right. So that's going to be one, two point five decagrams. Meters to centimeters. Meters is base, so one, two spots to the right, so one, two, seven point five, and grams to milligrams. Whoops, grams, one, two, three spots to the right, so one, two, three. You have to add eggs to the egg carton, so that's fifteen thousand. That's a one. Okay, now, like I said, you really should just focus on those three conversions. So I would know kilo equals a thousand times larger, centi, hundred times smaller, and milli equals thousand times smaller. Okay? Thanks.